and oh. Jeff is here. Yeah. <laughs> They love you. Oh. Um, so like Andrew then revisiting Jesus Christ Superstar, you revisited some old ELO work then and recorded them um, all again for a brand new album. So why did you choose to do that then? Well, because every, every time I hear one on the radio of the old ones, I always go, mm, that doesn't sound right. I thought it was better than that. <laughs> 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 and um, so what I did was I attempted to do Mr. Blue Sky again, just to make it a little bit more punchy and have more clarity, and yeah. uh, I'm a much better producer than I was because I've had 30 years more experience than I had then. So mm. it was like uh, I just had to do it. I, I was compelled to do it, you know. And I played it to my manager, Craig, and he, he said, oh, it sounds much better, you know. And so do another one, see what it sounds like. Yeah. And I, <laughs> I did Evil Woman, and that sounded way better, punchier. Because, yeah. you know, it's in my own studio now, so I have total control, which is something I like, yeah, and yeah. total separation so I can record it. I, I play all instruments myself, which it's I love to do. It's just incredible. How, how many, and the range as well, it's not just kind of strings. I mean, you do the drums, your guitars, yeah. the whole... Drums, just, bass, guitar, yeah. piano, guitar, and backing vocals and, yeah. uh, and all that stuff. But that's all the most fun you can ever have for me, because I, I just love being in the studio yeah. doing that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, you, you, it's funny that you mentioned the word control there. I mean, there's a, in this brilliant documentary that's going out on Jeff Lynne night on, on BBC4, lots of people say, you're a bit of a control freak there. Do you, do you see that <laughs> in yourself? I am, in, musically, I'm a control freak in the studio, yeah. but yeah. Um, not in real life. You know, I let, I'm a very easy guy, actually. Mm. Yeah. So, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you relate to that, Andrew, at all? Well, you see, funny enough, I, um, because I, I'm really a composer, not really a performer, mm. um, I didn't want to change Superstar at all because it, in the actual orchestrations and the original way that it was played, I wanted to reproduce that exactly, mm -hmm. uh, although the production's different. I didn't really want to do that. Yeah. But I completely understand it. You're coming from a completely different way than, than I do. I mean, I just thought that's a piece I wrote when right. I was 21 years old. I want to leave it as and it was just, when I was 21 yeah, years yeah, old, yeah, which is a yeah. different thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But all I'm changing is the technical aspect of it, really. Yeah. The yeah. facilities like you've got now, for instance, 30 years on, 35 years on from that one, or 34, yeah. is another great big advantage for me as a record producer. Um, you know, because I've produced all the ELO records anyway, the old ones, yeah. and now the new versions. But, you know, and I wrote them all. So I, I've got the sort of... I, wa I really wanted to make them sound better. Yeah. Well, let's remind ourselves of some ELO classics. <laughs> It's all on the very best of ELO, but we've got another album out as well, haven't you? Long Wave. I do have another album out called Long Wave, yeah. and I'm more proud of this album than anything I've ever done in what, my life. Why is that? Because they, they're kind of covers, aren't they? Because they're not really covers. Yeah. I've, I've sort of done my own versions and, uh, of these great songs, like um, If I Loved You and uh, Bewitched, Bothered and Bewildered, all these beautiful old songs that I used to hear when I was a kid. Yeah. You know, before I took up the guitar and everything. Yeah. Never knew how they went. So, and I don't read music, so I had to really delve in and dig deep. And you don't read music? You play all those instruments? Yeah, you I don't know. No, you, you just play by ear, you know. It's, it's much yeah. easier than reading music, I'll tell you. That. Oh, God. Uh, there's a great bit in the documentary, actually, where you say, you know, there's all these little gaps where you can put your own little naughty bits in. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it's so good. Let's well, have a listen, then, to Mercy Mercy. Yeah. OK. Well, I said, have mercy. Yes. 
smell, eh, isn't it? But is it true that you can record in every room, that you've got means to record everywhere in the I house? I can, yeah. I have tie lines through, through to the control room from everywhere. I have a really big studio, which is like about almost as big as Abbey Road 2, uh, it's, which is fantastic. And it's, it's all made of cedar, so it's very soft sound. Yeah. Beautiful ambience in it. And I just love uh, the way that your furniture's arranged as well for you. <laughs> yes. That's just so class. Anyway, Jeff, you have, of course, influenced many, many fans over the years. We've got three of your fans here tonight, but only one has changed their name in your honour, OK? Now, can you spot which one is the question? <clears throat> now then, is it ELO fan numero uno? Hi, I'm such a fan of ELO that in 1987, I changed my name to Jeff Lynn. <laughs> oh, good, good. That doesn't finish there. OK, let's go over to ELO fan number two. Hi, I'm such a fan of ELO that last year I changed my name to Mr Blue Sky. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about fan number three? Hi, I'm such a fan of ELO that in 1990 I changed my name to Eric Light Orchestra. <laughs> <laughs> so, Come on then, who is it, Jeff? What do you I like that Jeff? one. <laughs> I would imagine... It would be Mr. Blue Sky. Really? Yeah. OK, let's find out. Can the uh, true fans step forward? It is Mr. Uh, Blue Sky! <laughs> and he doesn't believe it. He can actually show his driving licence. Take your driving licence out just to prove it. Come on, Mr. Blue Sky. There you are. Wow. Brilliant. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Blue Sky. We haven't got time for the police tell us why bit, but uh, we have got a Mrs. Blue Sky, haven't you, as well? <laughs> She's down there, that's lovely. Oh, that's Mrs. Blue Sky. Sky. Thank you. <laughs> Mrs. Blue Sky. Brilliant. Ah. Well, that was just tremendous. Well, <laughs> great. <laughs> great, anyway. Uh, from Blue Sky, Mrs. Blue butterflies. Sky. Andrew, you've been busy. Well, you're currently in the process of, of creating a Well, new I'm starting mm. uh, work on a new musical, yes. Uh, Come on, story. can you let us into yeah. it? It's the what, story the of um, Stephen Ward, uh, oh, who right. was the great society osteopath, and uh, he was, of course, at the centre of the Christine Keeler, Profumo, Randy Rice Davis scandal. Yeah. Um, but in my view, he was wrongly. Uh, he, he was, in fact, convicted, but he'd committed suicide before his conviction happened. But he, he was the scapegoat for everything that was going on at the time, in my view. Uh, I haven't got it completely clear yet how I'm going right. to do it, but it's, a it's a fascinating yeah, yeah, story. Yeah, yeah. And it's just the time when the Beatles were beginning and it, it was time when everything was mm. changing and society yeah, was yeah. changing. And I, I find it I, I, quite intriguing to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How, how long do you hope, then, before the, it hits the theatre? Oh, it's, it's, it's likely to be 18 months. Mm. I mean, by the time you get... At a minimum, by the time you get the director and designer and yeah. you, you, yeah. you get the story right, I mean, the story has everything, so it's got to be got right first. Yeah. And, Jeff, talking of the time of the Beatles, I mean, you worked for them, didn't you, in 94? I did, yeah. What was it like? Because they, they must have been a big influence on you. Oh, what was it totally. like to work? Uh, you know, one of the biggest influences. And um, actually, walking in there, I went, when I went to do it, uh, I went with George um, into the studio, and there, there they all were, uh, Paul and Ringo. And George, and they'd been in the same room for years and years. And so I got to witness all the reminiscences, you know, and just the most marvellous stories, all the ones yeah. from Hamburg. From their mouths as well. Yeah, not and the edited. real ones, you know, not edited or not to, yeah. not yeah. to shut up or anything. It was just fantastic. I spent about five hours doing that before we even got round to doing anything else, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But speaking of the Beatles, it is time to go back to Liverpool now to see how Carrie is getting on with her challenge to persuade people who hadn't picked up an instrument in years to have another go. Yes, so Carrie, is our new band sounding like ELO or is it more of a case of OMG? <laughs> Uh, it's a little OMG, it might even be CPR after this performance, but hey, we've got four hours to rehearse and actually I have to say, that is less than most professionals would get to rehearse. John, you yep. thought up this idea, so yep. how's it going? I think, you know, they've dusted off their instruments, they've given it a go and I just think they're magnificent. Let you be the proof of this. Right, OK, let's see how we go. of a wave it's like magic rolling and riding and slipping and sliding it's magic you and your sweet desire you took me It's a living thing. 
we're tapping away. We're tapping away throughout that. What do you think, oh, Jeff? Well, as the writer, drum roll. Ah, bubble. Perfect. I thought it was great. Yeah. And I think it's Brilliant. a wonderful idea to get people to pick up their instruments again. And uh, these, that group was really good, I thought. And she was great, the singer, obviously. Yeah, Carrie's good, But yeah. the, you know, the guitar players were really good. I only spotted one wrong chord, and it was well done, <laughs> I say, Very well good. done. There we are, yeah. there we are. Very good. Right, lots of you, lots of you at home have picked the dress. Yeah, that's all for tonight. Thank you, Andrew. Good luck, of course, with Jesus Christ Superstar, the Phantom and the Angel Heritage Awards. And, of course, thanks to Jeff. All the very best with the very best of the Electric Light Orchestra and Long Waves, of course, as well. Yeah, tomorrow we'll be here with Lenny Henry. We'll see you then. Bye. Good night. Brilliant.